The Dinosaur, written by Anna Milborn, illustrated by Mandy Field. Nobody has ever seen a real live dinosaur. But long, long ago, before the world had cars or roads, before there were houses or cities, and even before the very first people were born, a big brown dinosaur egg lay at the edge of a huge forest. From inside the egg came a tap, tap, tap. Then there was a crack, and out climbed a baby stegosaurus. One by one, more eggs broke open. His brothers and sister were hatching out too. The baby Stegosaurus was very, very hungry. He ate whatever he could find. He ate crunchy cones and ferny leaves and chewy fruits from spiky plants. Each day he grew bigger and bigger until he was almost as big as an elephant. Soon, the Stegosaurus was so big, he had trouble fitting through the trees. So he poked his head out of the forest to see what the world was like outside. It seemed safe enough, but not for long. Suddenly, he heard a roar. It was an enormous Allosaurus with enormous Allosaurus teeth, and it wanted to eat him up. Quickly, the Stegosaurus swung his spiky tail. Thump! It hit the Allosaurus right on the nose. The Allosaurus growled and left him alone. The Stegosaurus felt big and strong. Now he could take care of himself. But even though the Stegosaurus was big, there were much, much bigger creatures around. Stomp! 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 The ground shook with giant footsteps. A whole herd of Diplodocuses were marching across the plains. Luckily, they only ate leaves, not stegosauruses. The world was different when dinosaurs lived. What would it be like if they were still alive? They would block up roads and trample on cars and people would run from their garnishing teeth. Maybe it's just as well that only their dusty old bones are left.